Hi, it's TMO, live backstage at Big Field Day with Michael from Passion Pit. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm really excited to actually talk to you because I've always been a Passion Pit fan, but diving a little deeper, I kind of discovered something that I was not ready to connect the dots on, and that is that you have worked on Rin Weaver's album. Yeah, I produced that record with uh, Benny. So Blanco. how did how did that come about? Like, did you did you find out about her? Did they approach you? So uh, yeah, I mean Benny and Rin became friends like a while ago. Okay. And uh, and she was sending him music, and he was just like, and he and I kind of had started. We had met because our our managers were like, oh, you guys would get along. And we're like, oh, I don't know. And then we met up at once and just really hit it off and just started making music together not for passion fit or anything just seeing what project would work and then um he was like look i, I think i really want to work with this girl i think she could be amazing and what do you, you know what do you think and the demos were awesome and we kind of just started talking with her and figuring it out and yeah we, and we then ended it just up became this awesome collaboration yeah we we just uh we finished that record a little while ago and She's just been amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's been really, really fun. Well, I I was so excited because I just discovered her myself, and, like, I was telling people around the station. Yeah. And one of the big wigs in charge of the Top 40 station was just like, I heard something about her. Like, honestly, is she good? I'm like, yeah, she's good. And yeah. then, like, to put two and two together, I'm like, well, I love Passion Pit. I love this new artist. Like, the fact that it was, like, <laughs> you know, this coincidence was really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, no, she's – that was an amazing – amazing time like kind of working on that i mean we it, it was kind of a long process but um it's been i mean it's just been crazy seeing the reaction yeah especially when we, we released octahate a while ago yeah. and then we just kind of let it build naturally as opposed to like uh what you know benny's worked on a lot of pop stuff but he doesn't really yeah he's never really subscribed to that sure he, he just he's like i want to do what's i want to work on stuff that's really good yeah. and she's just been killing it it's like oh, really fun to see and i'm just really proud to be a part of it well and for you from what i understand i mean you actually create more when you have other projects you're working on like it helps you kind of like with what you're creating for passion but when you have all of these other because how i would interpret that is that you have other avenues to focus different types of creative energy and you can like, you're like, okay, well maybe that sound isn't something I want to use for Passion Pit, but I yeah. can use it for this other, is that how it works? I mean, what is that process? Yeah, no, that's exact, no, no, that's like spot on. Because, um, I mean, because people have, there's this weird thing with Passion Pit where like, well, they'll listen to Kindred and be like, well, there's nothing really new going on. It's like, well, that's kind of the point. Like I, I have this specific sound and I want to see it through with Passion Pit. Yeah. It's like, that's kind of it, it's just it's like I get to scratch this itch that I always have had like this is the synth pop that I want to make yeah and it's not it's funny that it's like the one because when I because when I was making passion for music in the beginning I had like eight other projects going on and so it was the one that kind of took off or whatever but like I, you know I felt like for most of my life I've been I've been working only in the synth pop realm and that's not really indicative of what I can do or what I even love to do like you know when well, you're not like reaching your full like potential well, like you're not exploring but, those other avenues but that's not to like diminish the impact Absolute, of passion yeah. in my sure. life i mean passion is a huge outlet for me but like it's just really fun to have all these other things yeah. going on i just like when whenever it's kind of the idea where like you know when someone tells you to do one thing and you're doing that and then you got a ton of ideas for all these other things yeah and so that's exactly why i have all these other projects going on because like then i'm like th that's what made me want to make another passion Pit record was like working on Ren and working inspired. on all these other projects like I was like oh I actually have some ideas for a passion for record and I had never had that kind of you know and to go off of you saying that people are like well it hasn't changed it has I mean there, there is a clear like maturity and evolution in Kindred and while it might still like sonically like you know aesthetically like be the same it isn't the same yeah, you know, no. You're, 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 you're able to present something that is familiar and palatable um, to your fans, but also offer like a whole nother mindset. Was that was that, that intentional? Yeah, no, that's um, 
That's pretty much, again, spot on. <laughs> um, I mean, the idea was not to change it up sonically. It was to, like, if people really wanted to dive into it, then they would actually hear the differences yeah. as opposed to it being like, let me go in this other direction sonically and, and so blatantly deliver this different take on what's happening. It's really just a snapshot of my life at different, you know, very different points, yeah. but, um, but using the same sonic palette or whatever, you know what I mean? I'm using the same sounds, but for the most part, I mean, it, it will always change, but yeah, I, I didn't want to, I wanted to kind of, I wanted it to be a little more subtle in terms of what was changing, and then I felt like that was much more, that had a bigger impact. Well, uh, and, and, and you're for, able for to present different know. content because you're doing, you're delivering it in a way that is, I don't want to say comfortable for people or comfortable for you, but like, because you're getting the same sonic experience in ways, you're able to present different material. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that's, I mean, that there's, there is a special genius behind that no. because <laughs> you can't, I, I feel like if, if people even understood that in life, you could get, it's like. If you say something with a smile, you can get so much further than like you know. You can like do you want to just do my interviews for me because you know like you're <laughs> you're you're, you're th thank you so much because it's it, you get it. Yeah. And you know how hard it is to like because it's not because you know how it's like you 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 go around and explain like well why you really the music hasn't changed at all. It's like no, it's changed. It just hasn't changed. Like I don't want to do like 180 degree turns with every. Yeah, what do you want me album. to have an acoustic guitar? And then everyone's, <laughs> gonna, then everyone's gonna be like, well, yeah, they changed their sound up, and it's like you you can never make anyone happy. Absolutely. But at the same time, it's like I'd rather just stick to my guns and make like this, what I set out to do, yeah. like which is like a synth pop, sound with a very specific vocal sound and all this, and then just see what changes, along the you know, and and if things don't really change that much, then maybe it's run its course. Can't but, force it. But that's the fun thing about it is like actually sticking to a, a particular sound there's nothing harder than doing that actually i love that some people are like that's all they can do but like i usually i would be all over the place. well especially because you are so creative but i i think it obviously has helped that you've had all of these other avenues to explore and kind of you know indulge in you're, you're like I've, if, if I'm, I'm feeling this different sound then i can i have an avenue for that it's been so. yeah that's been really the best part about what's been happening lately it's just like it's so fulfilling I'm super lucky to, yeah. to have made great friends and with people who want to explore new, you know, territories with me. And honestly, it's just it's made passion but way more enjoyable. Yeah. So like I can kind of put it into perspective and 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 look at it in a totally different light than I did when I was like pushing Gossamer. I was like really really tired of it, you know. But you know, with time comes a little bit of um, perspective, hopefully. And I, I've definitely gained a, a bit of that and we but. can hear it i mean we can hear like just the the evolution the difference and it's it's appreciated as a fan well that so. means a lot thank you well thank you so much for being here we're very excited passion pit hitting the stage later at big field day